Hey what's up this is clip studio paint and we have these five layers well actually there are four so the, we have these four layers if you wanted to export them individually to files you'll have to do this you'll have to isolate a first layer and then you go to file you go to export you go to png and then you type the name of the layer and then you press ok and then you press enter again and then you press enter and then you have to repeat this step for all of the layers below and that's not ideal unlike Photoshop it's not as simple as Photoshop but it, it get very simple so if you follow the steps that are going that are coming up in the video you can just do this so select the first layer and then you press ctrl alt z and this will just automatically copy the name and everything and save this file this thing to the source file so where the the main this main file is saved to in this case this is the one so we have this ink layer and then you just repeat this uh, um, for each layer so you just press ctrl alt c and then you press ok and for the next layer you press ctrl alt c and then you press ok again uh, okay yeah so that's it so what do we need to do this so we, we need two files which are um, so the link to them is in my description um, of course so these are the two files so first one is uh, a clip studio paint auto action and then other one is just a macro script you'll get an exe file instead of ahk file so first step is is obviously you download these these files it will be in a zip file you, you can just extract them easily and then you go to uh, clip studio paint then you open this auto action thing if you don't have this here you can go to windows and then you select there should be an auto action thing yeah so there, there's this auto action window so you go to you go to window and then auto actions then you have this window and then you right click anywhere and then you go to import set so import set and then you locate where you say extracted the file so in my case this is the location and then you you can just import this easily and then you have the same thing that i, I do have now but i'm not going to because i already, already have this so i'll just skip this and then the next step you're going to do is you press uh, windows and R button and then you get this um, dialog window and then you're going to type shell colon start uh, startup and then you get the startup folder and now you're going you're going to um, drag the other file that you uh, get in the zip file that I just provided you you can just copy this to this file what this is going to do is this is a script that allows you to run a macro that does all the things that we are uh, like that we were supposed to do so this will just run this file out uh, in the startup so this does not take any memory so you just put this here and then if you don't want to restart anything you can just double click on this and this will run the file I already have this running so I'll just click no and then you oh, then all you have to do is just use the feature so you have to have the uh, shortcuts exactly the same because you cannot change them and if you don't have them it will not work an additional step is you have to set a shortcut for this auto action to execute so to do that you can go to edit uh, sorry file uh, shortcut settings and then you choose from in the category menu you choose in, uh, so by default you have menu commands you, you, you'll choose auto actions and then you go to snowfix and then edit shortcut and then control alt e so you have to have the same uh, shortcut otherwise it will not work and i'm not sure but i think the shortcut is automatically set if you just import it but i'm not sure so you have to double check this in the settings and then you press ok and then you're good to go and now you can just use this with, uh, with any file so let's say we have this this is the thumbnail i'm working on so we, this have this bunch of layers so let's say we want to export each of these layers to a um, you know png file so then you press ctrl alt z then it will copy the file name and save everything there and then you press ctrl alt z again and then it will it, it's going to just repeat every uh, so the whole step for this and yeah so that's the tutorial uh, this is useful when you want to export your 
um, layers for for a compositing so let's say you're making an animation and you want to export all of the layer all of the layers to uh, let's say davinci resolve so that's what i use for compositing um, so it makes it a lot easier and it does not work with animation so you have to skip animation folders when you're doing this um, so for animation you can just go to file export and uh, export animation and then you can just select export animation cells so this will automatically export all of your animation folders into individual folders with their own frames in them so you can easily import those into davinci resolve or any of any software of your choice yeah so that's the tutorial and thank you for watching and subscribe for more and please check out the announcement that just that i just released yeah okay that's it